Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and this is the Seasoned Adult Show. <laughs> We're here with George and Mary Medicus, and I met them back in December at the gala that was at the Ken Island Senior mm -hmm. Center. And then I ran into them again when we were doing, I think, a St. Patrick thing at yes. Graysonville. In the Luau. Right. So um, we wanted you to, first off, tell us about what you do at Senior Centers. And then we want to talk about your bike program that okay, you guys are great, doing. Great, great. Well, thanks for having us on, Bonnie. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming out and it's letting people always, know. It's always a pleasure to talk about the Senior Centers because our participation there has really added a great dimension to our lives. We have met so many wonderful people. Uh, a lot of people have the perception that it's for old People. Well, I don't know if old is a good or a bad word or a neutral word, but it is for seasoned adults. Right. And, and we started... Whatever that means. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> by joining... We, we're all, we all have our own spice here. That's you right. Know? That's right. And you get to mix it up with That's other right. people. <laughs> and it just brings back a, a spirit um, that you, that you kind of miss if you're just off in your house by yourself. And we started by uh, participating in Anne Marie Dold's mm -hmm. dance classes at Graysonville, which are just wonderful. You don't have to be uh, have a spouse with you or a partner with you. She makes sure everybody dances and goes over all the moves, and it's just ballroom dance. It's very good. We have a great time, and we don't miss the Elvis shows. The Elvis oh, shows. Oh, absolutely, the Elvis shows. And they always make a point of having socials where you can practice your right. your dance right. skills and a lot of line dancing and a lot of people who come out and just watch us kick our heels up. Some people who uh, maybe just got a knee replacement or just enjoy being out <clears throat> and and having a good time. We also go to yoga. Um, George has just started to join me with yoga at Ken Island Senior Center. Right, and enjoy that. We uh, take a, a painting class at the Ken Island Senior Center, and that's quite enjoyable. We um, filmed a couple years ago up at Sudlersville when they had a painting class, and some of those um, paintings ended up at the fair. So whenever we go to the 4-H fair now, I look at who's entered them to see if any of the paintings yeah. come from the Senior Center because I think that's a great way to display your artwork after you do something like that to let people know what's available. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We biked up to the fair last year and uh, really? saw some of those paintings. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are so happy to, to have Ken Island Senior Center and Grayson Mill Senior Center. We want to get up to Sudlersville to the grinning and picking. But uh -huh. I think it's picking and grinning. I think it's picking and grinning. We've got to get a yep. pick. Picking, picking and grinning. And grinning. Not grinning. you got to get yeah, the order right. It was last right. night, Thursday night, yeah. Our friends from the senior center told us so much about it. So, But the yeah. dancing click. Yeah, yeah. But it's a very open click. I mean, people are always joining, and word gets out, <laughs> which really has grown in the past two years. So tell us about your bike collection that you guys are doing. Um, I yeah want to get this information out too. Absolutely. Um, being a senior, a seasoned adult, doesn't just mean um, uh, when connection with the senior centers, doesn't just mean just going to the senior center. But we, we have full lives, even though we're not holding down a nine to five job. As, as you know, right. with other activities. And one of the things that we stumbled into was uh, a day that we uh, answered an ad in the paper. We were looking for a trailer, a bike trailer for our granddaughter. And we saw an ad in the paper for a trailer. It's in from Arlington, Virginia. We went over and looked at it, decided to buy it. I was talking to the man. He was the uh, founder of Bikes for the World. Bikes oh, okay. for the World collects used bikes, shifts them overseas, where they're refurbished and handed out and used as either basic transportation or going to work or whatever. But you can go four times faster on a bike than you can walking. Right. Right. So it's instead of taking an hour to get to school, you can get there in 15 minutes. Makes the day a lot better. 
So it's a way to recycle if someone oh. isn't using oh. their, you know, the bike's sitting there, at least it lets someone else use it. That Absolutely, that Bonnie. Um, we have so much stuff. And we wind up taking trips to the transfer stations, okay. of which we have very many good ones in the county. Uh, but the bicycles are put in the metal containers and then, you know, crushed and made into other things. Well, those bicycles can be put to good use. And that's where we come in. Uh, two years ago, we held our first old bike collection on Ken Island at Thompson Creek shopping center right and we collected over a hundred bikes for bikes for the world we work with uh, troop 495 from Cone Island the Boy Scouts they give us a lot of hand taking bikes apart assembling them to be shipped we take the handlebars turn them sideways take the pedals off and that way you can get a lot more bicycles in the container that way and, and we get the Boy Scouts doing the work okay yes. here's a picture of some of us with some of the Boy Scouts and some of okay. the over a hundred bikes and here's a picture of some children in Nairobi, Kenya, where our bikes probably wound up, the bikes from Kent Island. And I just would like to share a, a couple stories and pictures of people who have been greatly affected by bicycles. Harriet uses her bike to collect water for her family. Okay. Miriam is a mechanic and co-owner of Ability Bikes. George had mentioned that we partner, bikesfortheworld.org, partners with um, uh, small businesses in villages in over 20 countries, including our own, that repair and recondition the bikes and, and give them. She is the only woman mechanic in her village. And then George? Rosa has a uh, been trained as a mechanic, and she... Uh now supports her family with the work she's doing, maintaining and fixing bikes. Right. So this organization not only is able to improve people's lives by helping them to get to work in school, it is actually a grassroots program in countries to improve the economy. Give and them jobs. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And we have been very happy um, with the response countywide this year. Uh, Connie Tolson at um, the, in Centerville at the transfer station um, has <clears throat> has sent out a press release and has sent notices to all the transfer stations in the county for any bicycles that are deposited there um, to be used for our collection on April 25th. So if someone brings a bike up there and, and they happen to see it at the transfer station, do they call you? No. The, the people who work at the transfer station will Collect tell them, them. To, to put it in this area. Okay. And then we will uh, pick them up in time for the April 25th collection. If the people can bring them uh, to Thompson Creek Shopping Center on April 25th right. between 10 and 1, that would be better for us. Right. But if they right. don't know about it and wind up taking the bicycles to the dump, now they will be set aside for, for our so collection. So on April 25th, when you're at Thompson Creek, you're going to be collecting so people could, throughout the day, between 10 and 1, yes. bring bikes down to you. Yes. And then you have the, the Boy, Boy Scouts, Scouts will be there. Helping you. Take them apart. Right. Yes. That's exactly yes. Right. And we ask for uh, a $10 donation for the bicycle to help ship them to overseas right. companies. And but we'll take the bike for that as a donation. But we... Would and it would that. help. Yes, if, it, it would help. It always if, helps. If they have it in their heart to <laughs> yes. ship or it Or no, in there. their pocket in this yeah, case. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and I would also like to plug the Senior Center uh, here as well because it was at the senior center <clears throat> that I found out that the Lions Club, another great organization, uh, Ken Island Lions Club had a bunch of walkers that they didn't know who to give them to. They were walkers that they wanted to donate someplace. Right. Well, those walkers are going to go on the same shipping container <clears throat> that our bicycles will go on. Uh, we have already identified two villages in two countries um, in Africa, that's that will great. Take take those. Be more than happy to have those walkers. So, 
it's a great organization, bikesfortheworld.org, because it's very inclusive and it's helping save Mother Earth uh, by keeping these old bicycles out of uh, the dump. Dump, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's helping uh, improve world economy and helping people um, get to their jobs and get to school. Well, it's a blessing that, you know, here you are, you're just looking for a trailer, and look what doors yes. open up to you, and, and you oh, can I'm help you others that. That, yes. that need it. I mean, yes. it's, it's nice that we have the Senior Center to do activities at, but it also gives you a good feeling to know you're helping others. Absolutely. That, that you're being used and, and Absolutely. being allowed to help somebody get a job or get to work or... You know. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's at the Senior Center, too, where you learn about things that are going on in your community. Right. Um, you're not isolated, and you can pitch in, give a hand. Uh, for instance, George and I um, both volunteer at Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center, which is right in our neighborhood in Graysonville. Right. And it's a great great resource for us and it's at the senior center where you learn about these things and learn how to make your own life richer by by getting involved in your community i remember when i retired my um the superintendent of the schools had said to me oh you'll be back in working and stuff and you know thinking you don't have anything to do but if you really look around our community there is plenty of things that you can help and volunteer and be involved in yes. and it doesn't take long you wonder when you start doing some of this how did i get all this done when you worked uh, I <laughs> but you know yes, i i, I, know what you I still have time that if i want to sit and read a book i can do that yes. but I like you gotta schedule a little carefully sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I had to learn how to say no. <laughs> that was the hard thing for me, <laughs> because I, I want to do and a help and so, but we all have things that we gotta learn. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we yes. can't do it all, but it's we can try. Yeah, we can try. Well, I thank you two for coming in and letting us know, and hopefully people will. Um, we bring hope so. Bring yes. bikes out to you on April 25th. Between 10 and 1 at Ken Island Thompson Creek Shopping Center. Right next to Safeway. Food Lion. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Food Lion, yeah. Food Lion it is. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.